one of the biggest reasons why I can't use Kindle e-readers as good as Kobo e-readers is because I read books in Swedish and Swedish books are not available in uh, Amazon Kindle ebook store not many books are there and also you have no support for the Swedish language on a Kindle e-reader so for example the UI you can't have that in Swedish you can't have Swedish dictionaries and that is one of the biggest reasons actually no Swedish dictionaries and that is not uh, so good user experience without a Swedish dictionary but on Kobo devices you have built-in support for different languages a lot of different languages you can buy books in Swedish you can have Swedish UI you can have Swedish dictionaries and by default Kobo devices has an excellent Swedish dictionary it's very very good but some users prefer using something called co-reader it's a ui a specific ui for kobo e-readers uh, yes you can use it on pocketbook or even some old kindles but uh, mainly it's uh, based for kobo e-readers actually but the biggest drawback for me that is that i want to have swedish dictionaries when using co-reader uh, you can't use the built-in Kobo dictionaries when using co-reader you have to have co-readers dictionaries and uh, they don't have any support for Swedish to Swedish dictionaries you can find English to Swedish and Swedish to English but not a pure Swedish dictionary but you can install custom dictionaries and in this video I will show you how you can install custom dictionaries and also where you can find them and uh, I will show you how to install a Swedish dictionary but there is also a lot of other dictionaries available so in this video I will have co-reader on my Kobo Libra H2O running as you can see here it's already connected to my computer my Mac but uh, let's remove the Kindle because in this video we will not show anything about the Kindle but here we have Kobo Libra H2O not a device that I am uh, so uh, impressed by because it has physical buttons and a very awkward uh, uh, size very rectangle size I don't like that but uh, anyway i have installed co-reader on this already and i have excellent tutorials on my channel if you want to know how to install co-reader you can see that on my channel so now if we go to my desktop first here we have my desktop and if i open finder you can see here that i have downloaded some dictionaries and if we go here to Kobo e-reader we have the Kobo e-reader here here you should go into ads and here you should go into co-reader and scroll down to a folder called data and here we have a folder called dictionaries in here you should put the downloaded dictionaries so the dictionary I use for Swedish is called Dikt SV SV Swedish to Swedish and it should be uh, unpacked from the zip file you see the zip file here it should be unpacked and lay in this folder but where you get that dictionary files from is on the web so let's go back to the web we have my safari web browser here and here we have an excellent website as you can see ebook reader dictionary it's on github so here i already have found swedish you have a lot of different 
languages here as you can see but I have browsed for the Swedish dictionary here is these are the features you can see if you want to install this on uh, the normal Kobo UI Kobo graphical UI and so on you can do that by downloading this file but to me that is uh, not so good to do because Kobo already has excellent dictionaries built in so you don't need that but if you should use this uh, in co-reader you need to download Stardict a star dictionary and this version is for Swedish Swedish as you can see there and this is the one I installed on my co-reader so download that if you want to have a Swedish dictionary you can go back here to see other languages uh, you see here are different languages you can download and use for your co-reader so that is where you find your dictionaries and where you download them so now when i unplug this you will see this shows up in co-reader ending usb ms session so now you can unplug the cable like so now we have unplugged the cable and now co-reader has restarted so now we should go into some settings sorry i need glasses for this you know reading glasses in my age uh, so now we go into some settings here we have up here you see a search icon click on that and here we have dictionaries so now if you click on settings there you have dictionary settings here you see i have installed 12 dictionaries and here are the normal dictionaries you have for kobo e reader and if i go here you see all the different these are the dictionaries for co-reader actually so uh, if you go here you see all the languages and here we have soon the swedish that i'm talking about uh, here swedish and as you can see here you don't have any swedish swedish dictionaries only english swedish russian swedish swedish english swedish russian Swedish English and so on. So that is not good. But now we have installed a custom dictionary. You will find them automatically in Manage Dictionaries. Here we have the different dictionaries we have installed. And at the top here we have that one that I downloaded and show you on the web page. Victionary. Sverige, Sverige, Swedish, Swedish, and it's uh, based on uh, the open source Victionary files. If you want to have them in different orders here, you can do so by just uh, clicking on a dictionary and move it up and down here. And when you are finished with that, you just click done. So I have the Swedish, Swedish dictionary at the top because that is the one I will use the most. As you can see, if I want to move this up, I already have that. I have a duplicate here, I see. So maybe I should just unclick that. Like so. So now I have 11 available of 12 downloaded. And you should also have enable fuzzy search, is my recommendation, as you see there. Dictionary lookup history, I, I love that. So you have that also ticked. Font size, you can choose different font sizes to see uh, the dictionary results larger if you want that. That is also much, much better than uh, the original Kobo. So that's where your dictionaries will 
show up on your co-reader. So now we go to a Swedish book to see how good the dictionary works. So we choose that book. Here we have that book and as you can see down here we have all the settings I have for co-reader. You see, you see how many pages are left and how much left of the book and how many hours left and you see the light and backlight and night light, battery and the real time there. And I also love the progress bar to see every chapter here. So that is how I have put the co-reader settings for me, for my taste. So this is how it looks. Uh, but if I want to use a dictionary now, we will find a, a word for that. Let's say this word. So this is how good the dictionary, Swedish uh, dictionary works. Now you get a suggestion for that word and what it means. And you can go um, back and forth here uh, if you want. But this is the one you should read. This is what that word means. So we can uh, uh, also see that it has some limitations. For example, this word is uh, not a real word in my world. So let's see what the dictionary says. Yes, it has that. That's really impressive actually. That dictionary has even that word. Nice. So, so that open source dictionary works quite good in co-reader for the Swedish language. And I'm pretty impressed with that. So to make the co-reader experience better for other people than English spoken people, you have to sometimes hack your co-reader install by adding custom dictionaries that I did here, for example. So that is how you can add custom dictionaries to your co-reader install on your Kobo e-reader. Okay, bye.